think I've had eaten goose all my life. Let's go into this. <laughs> the, the drumstick. The drumstick is like... Oh, I need this, man. On this kind of weather. <laughs> I added a piece of raw garlic on top. <laughs> this is duck feet noodle. It's really uh, it's like a wet one. Uh. My first ever raw shrimp in Bangkok. Hey, I don't like crabs on there, but this one is insane. Eh. Proper bite right here. This is worth flying all the way to Bangkok just for this. Okay, good morning people. Very early. 7 a.m. Starting the day right. Wake up early to tackle the day. Wow, today really very early. We are at Yawara, which is Chinatown uh, in Bangkok, Thailand. We got a lot of like, a lot of places to visit uh, and we got a lot of meetings as well. So I'm trying to squeeze in as many videos as I possibly can. Today we are to one of the very famous place to eat goose. We have to come in early because if not, it's going to be insane. This place is called Lao Tang. Okay, Lao Tang Goose. I'll talk to you guys a bit more inside. Let's go. She said seat up, seat up Wani, which is which means seat up no, which means 45 years of history. Okay, roughly I know a bit. I'm not that great, okay, but I I know a bit. Look, 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 at, look at how she pop. It look it looks very oily, very fatty. Guys, we are the first to step into this restaurant. There are no other people here. We are the first to, to come in here. Thanks to Uncle Billy. Uh, he is really our... Uh, he is the local guy here, really. We're gonna try the goose now. Come on, come on. There's still other, some other dishes to come up. Guys, okay, so we didn't just got the goose, huh? We got some of the other items as well. Uh, it usually, I think it comes with the duck, the, the goose blood as well, which is something that you can't find in Singapore most of the time. These are the, I think the tongue, uh, the gizzard, and then uh, more blood. This one is very, very good. According to uh, uncle and auntie, this the uh, the neck, the head and the neck. Yeah, we're gonna dig in. Okay, come, let's try. Actually, uh, you know what, I'm gonna start with the soup first. It comes to a like, pork rib. It looks very clear, uh, but bitter gourd is used, it's supposed to be like that. It reduces the heat, uh, reduces the heatiness. It's just a very clear broth for you to just taste the... Uh, it's, it's a little bit salty, nothing much really. All about this. This thing, this thing, this thing. It's supposed to chiang for, you know, make you less heaty. Mm. It looks a lot fattier than dark. Eh. Is goose supposed to be like that? I don't think I've had eaten goose all my life. Let's go into this. Oh. The layer of skin, right? This layer right here. Take a look at this. This layer right here. All that flavor is here. Meat itself tastes quite similar. Quite similar to dog. That sauce that they use to braise, okay? That, that flop. Oh, it's insane. Okay, second piece I'm gonna add a bit of this chilli. I'm not sure what kind of chilli is this. It looks a bit uh, vinegary to me. Uh. No, it's like a very garlicky, vinegary chilli. It goes well with that. It's a big fan of blood. He told me like, when you go to Taiwan, you must eat the dark blood. It looks like a very firm jelly. Oh. Okay. I think we're eating this mainly is about the texture. Okay, it doesn't have much uh, taste to it. it will, you won't even know it's blood. Right? I think it's like a pudding. I think this will go well. I could add in a bit of this. Add in a bit of that cilantro. Mmm. Mmm. Need a bit of that chili. 
or anything of blood. Auntie and uncle, like, they, they sworn by this. They say, like, this is, like, the best thing ever. Yeah. It's the one you just here. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm holding at you. It's so good. Wow. Not much flesh, okay? It's, it's all about that skin. Okay, that skin, it feels a bit like... Uh, it doesn't feel like the, the pork trotter, you know? Not that kind of gelatinous that you will feel very gao wei. A bit chewy, and it's very, very... Like I said, like, the, the layer of fat underneath the skin is super flavorful. Ooh, okay, there's different parts. Uh. But just now I got the brass. Okay, now I try this one. Now I try the drumstick. I'm going to try it with a bit of that rice. Just now, I ate the breast and it's really very tender. The, the drumstick, the drumstick is like... Okay, usually, you know, chicken, you can't even do this kind of texture. This one is really, they cook it, maybe they slow cook or I don't know what they do. Like. Melt, oh, it, it really like disintegrates, man. Wow, insane. Eh? Wait, wait, I need enough piece. I had the ones in JB, I had a lot of different, like, dark. You cannot beat the texture of this. I'm gonna try a bit of that gizzard. Also. I think most of it will go well with the, a bit of that chili. Alright, because it tastes a bit different as compared to the chicken one. It's got a bit of that liver texture. Meaning it's not that chewy, it's more like a bit soft. Look. You get a piece of tongue. I actually like the tongue a lot. Not much flesh, more. it's just a very uh, collagen y texture. Like, you know. Mm. This is something that you'll eat when you're drinking. It's very addictive, you just keep popping it. Okay, so we're almost done with the first meal. Usually, you know, when I do this kind of four places, five places, the first stop is usually all over the place. But today, the first stop is insane. We start the day strong. We're gonna move on to the second stop, which is Kuei Chup. Kuei Chup or what? Oh, wait a minute, we, 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 we will bring you guys there and we see where we land up. Where, where we where end up at the second stop. to the next stop. This next stop, uh, you guys recommend one. It's a Kuei Chup store. And if it's not good, right, I'm gonna hold you guys accountable. So many of you guys sent me DM about this. You must go and destroy this Kuei Chup place. I'm not gonna destroy it. I'm just gonna go there and enjoy my breakfast. Oh, this one. Hey, we come early, no queues. Uh. This is the legendary Kuei Chup place at Yawarak that you guys recommend. Most of the menu dishes, right, are in Mandarin. I can read the Thai words I cannot read. I can read the Mandarin one. Yeah, I Hey, I queue for nothing. I go inside and order. Right? that you guys recommend. The one thing that is very different uh, from Thai Kuei Chup and Singapore Kuei Chup, right? the noodles here, okay, it's rolled up one. I don't know why. In Singapore, it's flat, you know? It's like a flat sheet of noodles. Sort of like bite size, uh, so you can just, you know, you can just eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. One thing about the noodle here is it's got a bit of texture. Right? You know, Singapore Kuei Chup, it doesn't have much of the chew to it. This one got a nice texture. It's, it's cooked. A little bit undercooked, right? but personally, right, I think. The broth, right, is not the braised broth. It's a very peppery broth. When you go to eat pig organ soup, it's that kind of broth. And the things inside looks kind of like the pig organ. is like, you know, you got your pig stomach. Very comforting. Right? But it's not something I'll eat on a hot day. I'll eat this on a rainy day. I'll order one bowl just for Kong Ba. Oh, the roast block. Very crispy. Put inside the soup, right? You dunk it in the soup, it's still very crispy. Oh, this is the kidney, kidney. Mm. Oh. 
Actually, I can eat so good. Liver. There are a lot of stuff inside. Uh. Got a piece of the sliced pork and a bit of chili. So you got a cake, oh. very vinegary, a, a bit more aggressive than the dark chili. It hits you, right? Definitely chili party. Two types of chili, I think. There's a green chili, red chili, and then there's garlic, oh. They use the very small garlic. This one is the whole garlic, oh. The very young one, the very young garlic. Uh, is that the one that we are going to Yeah, get we're going to get some later. Yeah, yeah this is the garlic, the, the very small, very hard to find in Singapore, like this one. It's a small, this this whole thing is not a chopped up thing, right? it's, a, it's a whole clove right here. Since we're on this garlic, we're gonna head over. It's a market that sells a lot of fruits. Uh, until what's the name of the market? Uh, called Octoko Market. Uh, it sells a lot of fruits. Apparently, a lot of Singaporeans will go there and pop out the fruits back in carton. Uh, not just fruits, uh, they sell like all this like, fancy fancy garlic as well. We're gonna finish off this bowl. Then we're gonna, we're gonna head over there. Very sunny. Okay. Uh, anyways, second stop of the day, you know, third day, we're moving very fast. We are at. Yeah? I watch on YouTube. Watch my YouTube. Thank you very much. Auntie Singaporean or? Singaporean. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Hello, Auntie. What is your name? Hello. Yeah, you're on YouTube now today. YouTube, yeah. Hi. <laughs> okay, we see you inside, okay? It's so cute. Okay, anyways, uh, we are at Octoko. Octoko, Octoko. Okay, it sounds like a Japanese word, but it's a Thai word. This is like a market, like a mass market with fruits, with a bunch of stuff. We're gonna uh, walk around, probably buy some fruits and eat. I'm on a vegetable and fruit deficit for like two days already. I need some fruits. I need a bit of and fiber to move and I'm gonna get some fruits back for my mom and probably this is one of the places that we thought the feature because some of you guys might want to come here and take some fruits back. Let's sit in and come. Okay, I'm gonna wear my mask inside. I buy oh, this one. Oh this one, yeah, correct, correct. This this garlic uh, this thing here is the whole clove. Okay. Super fragrant. Actually, if you go to eat Thai food, right, and they use it, they use this garlic, right, you, you, it shows a lot. I'm not sure if you can find it in Singapore. And one of my favorite restaurants, shrimp prawn seafood, they use this in their cooking, and it's super fragrant. Whenever I eat their vermicelli, right, stew pork vermicelli, I will finish out all the garlic on. It's very easy to eat, and it doesn't have that very strong pungent, you know, some people when they eat garlic, they'll be afraid of that flavor. But this is a whole clove, you can just pop it like that. We'll get some when we're leaving. Okay, we move around, explore the market a bit more. <laughs> they also sell a lot of food here, you see? There's Saikro. Pork sausage is called Saikro. Saikro Isan. We're gonna head over to explore the fruit section, which I'm very, very excited. I want that size one here, huh? They want at least 50 gig, no, 60 kg. Huh? They want I can't finish huh, if I if I team out with a few other eaters. <laughs> One thing about this market here, right? There's no like, a bunch of patches, water, or it's very, very clean, uh, and it's very spacious. You can very easily navigate your way through the different stalls. I like this place, actually. This is search of nostalgia that hits me. I don't know why. Okay, so the durian here, right? Okay, I, I'm not here to this Thailand durian or what, okay? I had all kinds of durian before. The durian here is extremely big. Extremely, extremely, like, the fruit is super big, but... The ones in Malaysia is a lake above the Thailand one. Thailand one is big, it's flashy, but there's not much. Um, the flavors is not as pungent, not as strong as the, the ones in Malaysia. When I go for, I mean, it's just me. When I go for durian, I always eat the ones. I don't eat durian in Thailand. I eat the ones in Malaysia. Auntie told me there's some sort of like, some, don't know what, custard apple or something. That's very, very nice. I want to get a pineapple. I look at a mini pineapple, it looks so juicy. Uncle Billy is a pro. He's like a pro when it comes to this kind of market. He's just like, he wants to pick the best. What do you have? How are you? Okay, good, good. good. Okay, okay, what do you want? I remember me using an ice cut. Right, for okay. you, let's see. Uh, he has a special section that he only wants. Why Why must take me to Sui? The sides are not that pretty. The middle is the best. Oi, the salted fish is, seems a bit fresher than the, right, the, the other salted fish uh -huh. that I've seen. Here, look at the salted fish. It's still a bit fresh. pinkish. Yeah, it's still fresh. It's still pinkish inside. One. So it's right now you take the middle section. Really good. You must come with Uncle Billy. Uh. You come on your own and you ask for middle section, they'll ask you to. 
So these are Thai pot, uh, the radish, the pickled radish. My mom used it a lot in her cooking. She likes to put it in fried rice, she likes to put it in the, what's that thing called, the Thai pot neng, which is the omelette with this thing. This is the sweeter version, which is better for like your fried rice or your uh, pickle, the Thai pot neng, uh, the omelette. So this is the small pineapple, look at that. It's really very small. Go to the go to the <laughs> you want to do challenge with it? Okay, we're going to try one now. We open one and try. Oh, I need this, man. On a hot, on this kind of weather. I wouldn't say it's like, it tastes super different or something. It's super juicy. Like. You get the dough one, it tastes quite similar. It is quite sweet actually. Compared to those in Singapore? A bit sweeter. Because it, he chopped it right in front of me, right? If not, I would, I would assume that he dip it in some sugar syrup because it's really quite sweet. And inside, the more, I, the more I bite into it, it's really, it gets sweeter and sweeter. The bottom is really candy. Okay, custard, uh, custard. No, no, this is not custard apple. I don't know what apple is this. I forgot what's the name of this already. My parents eat this a lot. Uh, they like to dip it in soy sauce. I don't know why. I'm just gonna eat it like that. Oh, the ones just are freaking sweet. Eh. The ones that my parents keep in the fridge, uh, it's just juice, la, tasteless. Eh. This one is damn sweet. The texture is like what well, I never eat before. Slightly chalky, a little bit acidic but a very neutral tasting fruit. A uh, hinge of sweetness, super juicy, a lot of water inside. I know it is cold. Uh. Okay, I know you guys been waiting for the mango. Mangoes here are quite interesting. Uh. All this, right, you can leave it for four days. Assuming that you're going back to Singapore like in two days time, you can buy all this, and then two days later, you can go back to Singapore and eat it and it's, it's perfect. The ripeness will be just nice. Here is five days one. You can hold it for even longer. This one's here is right on the spot, which is here. Okay, you eat it right here in Thailand. So, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, you know when you eat mango, there's that, that fiber or I don't know what, whatever, that, that thing, that stringy thing. This one don't have it. It's like tofu, you know? Oh, I don't need dessert. So very quickly, I'm gonna wrap things up here. This market, right, a couple of things that we can, I think I will buy in this market. I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, uh, the garlic, the salted fish, the fruits, mainly people are here for the fruits lah, and a bit of that, maybe those like dry ingredients that you can bring back to Singapore. Pretty good experience, even though I'm sweaty like crazy, but a very good experience. I'm gonna move on to the next place. See you guys in the next place. Okay. So we here at another, another store that you guys recommended me. Okay, initially you want to go to another place. This one Michelin star curry rice at the roadside one. But that one right, 3 p.m. and we have another meeting. So, might have to skip that one. So this one right, just nice. Uh, our chauffeur also bypassed here and he said this one quite famous. So we're just going to do a quick one. And just a lot of feature, just, just have a bowl here. And uh, I'll talk to you guys inside. Here the traffic, I'm very scared my producer get hit by a car. Sit like opposite. We have to share a table with another two, two other person. Uh, we're gonna do a very fast one. We're just gonna eat and we're gonna move. Our driver is just right outside, just waiting for us. So I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna take a pack for him, and we just gonna eat and go. I run and gun. Really, really running. Okay. The bowl is big. The content is not big. The content is just at the bottom. I'm gonna try a bowl without the condiments first. Then we're gonna we're gonna season the noodle a little bit. It tastes a bit like the Malaysia style, 
Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, my pork rice is there. Wait, 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 let me review the noodle first. The smell of the pork lard is very strong. Okay, you will taste a very strong and prominent pork lard smell in there. The noodle itself is not very heavily seasoned. They don't have any extra sauce on it. Uh, it's not even salty. So they added the, the oil, the pork lard oil. So they added the pork lard oil inside. Uh, but I have to season it a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna go with the sugar. After I season a bit of chili flakes, a bit of fish sauce, a bit of chili vinegar, and I'm gonna try again. Very good. The taste of the alkaline noodles is very, very strong, which is good. I like it. It's not a very big difference. It's, it's, it's kind of similar. It's just that the condiments that they add on it is a little bit different. I tried the wonton and chashu. The wonton, nothing fantastic. The noodle is really good. Uh. The noodle, the texture of the noodle is very, very good. Wonton and chashu, very off. I'm gonna review this one first uh, because we are running Ghana. I love what I see right here. Look at the, the fat that is like the very, very fatty collagen. Like this one is like just all collagen and fat. This is the leaner bits. So it's a combination of everything. This part is everything. Uh. You got everything combined here. The texture, the texture of the pork leg, the pork trotter is very, very short. I added a piece of raw garlic on top. This sauce is very good. This sauce, right, it cuts that greasiness out of the, the pork leg. I'm gonna try another bite with the pickled vegetables. I hope I don't regret this. It is on its own, right? I would say the the pork knuckle and everything is good. It's very very good. I would prefer the taste of the raw, the, the the gravy, right, to be a bit more robust. But overall, it's good. But with all the condiments and everything, you chase it with the garlic and you add the chili and everything, right? It's, it makes it very good. Yeah, I got a piece of garlic. I knew off the cameras, we're gonna continue. After I finish everything, I'll talk to you guys outside the restaurant. Okay, so this stall overall is pretty good. Overall, uh, I, I realized why I didn't like the wonton because of the fact that one of wonton is undercooked, which is which is not good, uh, okay? But overall, the noodle is very good. The pork rice is very good. The pork trotter is very, very good. Okay, so we're gonna head to the next location, which is Sombun. Very, very near here also. So we're gonna head there for a proper lunch. This place is too packed already. Okay, see you guys, go. Okay. Last stop, okay, last stop of the day. This evening we are going to Chef Man. We wanted to film that one, but it's a meeting. So it might be a little bit difficult for us to film there. This might be our last stop already. This is Sombun. It's like a zicha kind of restaurant, but it's a very, very famous one. They are famous for their curry crab, if I'm not wrong, and prawns and all those kind of seafood. Apparently different branches, right? The standards might be a little bit different. We come here, this one is the OG, the number one brunch. I'm gonna let Uncle Billy do all the ordering. He's a pro, la. I mean, he comes here all the time. We see what he got for us. Usually I go for the raw one first. So we're gonna try the raw shrimp first. My first ever raw shrimp in Bangkok. Dump it into this sauce. <laughs> Sure. It doesn't have any funky, funky smell. It tastes like a very good shrimp sashimi. But it's with the that seafood sauce, uh, the Thai garlicky seafood sauce. This one is what? Uh? This one? Uh, chili paste. Chili paste, okay. Garnish it properly. Uh. Camera eat first. Mm. The chili paste is very nice. It's a bit fermented, uh, the taste of the chili paste. Very good. And then you chase it with garlic. Uh. And order. This one really can order. I'm trying this one. It looks like your old lot, you know? There's bean sprout in there though. 
Singapore or Luan, there's no bin sprout. Right? Wow, very good. Eh? Okay, let's try another bite with the chili. It's damn good. Eh? I ate like six, seven kg of this right now. The highlight here for this dish, right, is not exactly the oyster. Even without the oyster, right, I would I would eat this on its own because they added the tapioca starch right? and that tauge and the eggs. It, it just comes together so nicely. The edge is still very crispy, but the inside is still so moist. Probably due to the moisture that's coming from the oyster. Very good. You can even taste the smokiness from the tauge, right? and the tauge they cook perfect. They use some sort of other tauge. Look at that. I show it to you guys. The bean sprout they use. Right, it's a lot more plum one, not the typical bean sprouts that, is, that, that are used in Singapore. Oh, so good. And that sweet sauce, right? I'm not someone that fancies sweet style when it comes to my food, but it's not overly sweet, like. it's a bit of that savory, it's got savory notes to it. Right? Oh, this one very good. Must order. Tell you guys something. You see, uh, green, green, all green, green, right? Oh, the chili is also hidden inside. I'm gonna get in a bite with, with all the chilies also. Uh. I love that. The green chili is not just for spice. Eh? It has a lot of fragrance to this dish. Really, a lot, a lot of fragrance. Very tasty, not too salty. Smokiness is just nice. They they probably fry this one in super high heat. You know, you can't mimic this at home lah because they use the very you know the very strong wok and then they oh this one very nice. I think they call it morning glory. This is duck feet noodle. I don't think I ever had duck feet before. Chicken feet a lot, lah, but duck feet is on the first time. I don't know why it has a medicinal flavor to it. Maybe the duck is braised in some sort of sauce before adding to this. I was digging through the dish and I see star anise. So probably that's the reason why. I can't really taste that very the duck flavor, but it's a very good dish because of the thing is, the flavor is all soaked into it. It's a bit milky, I don't know why. You can see dark skin inside shiitake mushroom. They added pork fat to enhance the flavor. This is why I tasted that criminal sort of flavor. I thought that why they added milk or something, but it's not, it's from this, okay? It's derived from this. Mm. I eat until the bottom, right? That is the pepper corn, also. Wow, not bad, a lot going on. It's really uh, it's like a wet one. Uh. It's not really dark feet, uh, not the chicken one. Um, yeah, there's not one dish that I that is like under eight for me. Uh. Oh, it's like about the point. Yeah, they know, uh, they know. <laughs> Can I take this one? This is uh, curry crab. Uh. This is not uh, chili crab or anything. This is curry crab. I don't like crabs on there, but this one is insane. Eh. It doesn't taste like curry, that's the thing. It tastes so creamy. It tastes as if like the sauce right is cooked using the eggs of the crab. Like the roe or something. They added dark eggs to cook this um, this curry mixture or curry gravy. It doesn't look like curry at all. It, it's so thick and it's so freaking creamy. Proper bite right here. Mm. This is worth flying all the way to Bangkok just for this. Oh, it's so good. If you guys like crab, right? This one must try. Very hot, very hot. Wait. <laughs> You made my dream come true. It's so simple. One more bite, one more bite. Just one more, just one more, okay? Okay, I'm gonna try real prawns. I love river prawns. Wow. It's very hot, man. I don't know how you usually tell whether it's real prawns or not, but usually I distinguish from the head, like the head very big, man. The head butter. So it's gonna suck it up. It's so good. The meat is still so firm. 
when it tastes the shrimp, the meat is so firm, right? I will, I, will, I will take it as an indicator that it is very, very fresh. They didn't cook it in a fancy way, like, it's just barbecue. So you dip it in the seafood sauce and you just eat it. You're really just eating the freshness of the front. Mm. <laughs> Top three dishes. Actually, everything I order here is super good. Like. It's really very good. Sort of like oyster omelette thing, which is a little bit like our old one, but it doesn't taste gelat at all. There's no gelatinous because of the fact that they added the, the very plum looking tauge inside. The curry crab, the duck noodle, still pot duck feet noodle. They were very good. The menu is very expensive, but there's still a lot of items, on, but we didn't went crazy. Like. So I'm going to end the video here. Initially, when we came here, right, we just want to film two videos. This is the bonus video lah, because I thought that since I'm moving around so much, we just filmed something. This evening, we're going to Chef Man, but that one probably cannot film. Uh, we went to how many? Five places? Four places? Uh, the Very Good Goose. Uh, we went to the Kuei Chap. We went to the Fruit Market, Pork Fries and the Wonton Noodle. And we went to Sombud. Among the five places, two that stood out is the Goose and Sombud. These two really stood out. I'm not saying the other the other three places is not really that fantastic. The, the, the Fruit Market was really fun. I, I hope that you guys enjoy this little vlog of mine. It's not like I'm uh, doing crazy eating or what, but it's still pretty crazy. La. Five five restaurants, five places in four hours. Eh. But uh, Sombu is really good. I need to thank Uncle Billy for his awesome recommendation. It's insane. The issue with this restaurant is the menu. You don't go to this restaurant, the menu is so big. You don't know what to order. And he's been a regular here, so straight away he curated it. These are the few dishes that are really, really good and they really stood out. Okay, and I come to this this one. I don't, I'm not sure about the standards or all the other Sombu, but this is the OG one. Address will be down in the description. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this little vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this one because we are very, very rush. We are here to, you know, for meetings and also uh, if there is time, we film another video. If not, there's three videos. I hope you guys enjoy enjoy from the very first challenge at Mark's restaurant, the night market vlog and this one. I really hope you guys enjoy. You see my light also ran out already. Okay but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, I'll see you guys. Uh, comment down below guys if you guys fancy this kind of vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, one thing before I go. A lot of you guys actually came out to meet here in Bangkok. I, I wasn't expecting myself to meet so many Singaporeans here. I meet at least, at least 15 groups of you guys. No, 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 more, than more than 15 least, groups. They came out and say hi, took a photo. I, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thumbs up for them. Thumbs up for them. They always give us thumbs up. Uh, I'll see you guys back in Singapore. Bye-bye.